Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Prison Architect. Last time, we uh, we started turning all of these cells, or dormitory cells, back into just uh, box standard basic cells. We started to get rid of these solitary cells as well, since we now have like a solitary wing, although that is getting fairly full up, which is a little bit worrying, um, but it should be all good. And today, we are hopefully going to make some more progress on some of these grants and uh, start expanding our prison. It's getting quite large at the moment. I want to expand uh, maybe further this way. We're getting quite close or quite far away from the yard. Uh, so we will see. Why is that shower? Requires a shower head. It's got a shower head. Uh, <laughs> um, what? Like, did I not zone this for a shower? That's really bizarre. So I just own that entirely for showers. That is really strange. I have no idea why that happened. Now let's add some more drains in there. We've got loads of drains since, uh, you know, we're demolishing our dormitories. Okay, those cells aren't quite finished now. Um, but we can finish them off quite easily since we have all of the necessary materials. Uh, so we want those in there. And the toilets. We just need to refix the uh, utilities again. Uh, get rid of those. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Don't dismantle that one because that's actually still a working cell. Uh, we need to put a large pipe along there. That's already got a large pipe in it, so it's fine. And uh, just along like so. And then we'll just uh, put these pipes in up here as well because we know that that's where they're going to go. All right, we can actually get rid of this room as well, since uh, we've got enough cells to cover everyone. And then make sure we dismantle everything in here this time. Uh, like that. Boom. All right, awesome. How is our Supermax guy doing? Is he still hungry? No, he's not hungry anymore. We seem to have a cook that's working in here now, which is great. Although he's got loads of food in the kitchen. Oh dear, <laughs> that's a little bit worrying. Um, all right, so it looks like we can actually start working on making our prison look good. Uh, since we've got a bunch of money, uh, we can technically open up our inmates again, fill capacity. Uh, because once these are done, which they are, we can clone uh, these cells and put some more in. So we now... Ooh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Cancel, cancel, cancel. That was a bad time. <laughs> okay, clone that and put them there. There we go. So that should make everything... Oh, dang it. Nope. I did it wrong again. We need to clone this one. Jeez. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> there we go. So that should be fine. Wow. Oh yeah, we need to add in the small pipes along there and then zone that as a shower. Ha uh ha. -huh. Oops, missed. Oh, I already did. Never mind. I need to add in some ceramic tiles, though. The ceramic tiles are actually one of the most expensive resources in the game. Which is kind of weird that I'm using it to decorate our showers. Um, but no, we want to start decorating the inside of our prison. Mainly uh, with these paving stones. Because paving stones allow our guards and everyone to move a lot faster. So this is what I'm going to burn most of my money on right now. Just adding paving stones. And it's also going to get rid of this uh, sort of ugly AI... Not AI. Um, GUI, I guess. No, it's not GUI. It's, it's going to get rid of these ugly planning sections. Okay, because we don't actually want these here anymore. So, let's just sort of focus on the main areas before we run out of money. Um, just like so. We want them to... Let's, yeah, let's just go all around our prison. Uh, our main cells here. Make sure all of these have access to fast walking bits. AKA pavements. Uh, that's actually quite a lot of money that just went. And it's almost all gone. And there it goes. <laughs> Alright, we have a dollar. Our prison has a dollar. Cool. But at least they're adding in the pavement stones, and it means that our prisoners will walk quickly. We're about to get a bunch of money through a prisoner intake anyway, which is good. New prisoners are always welcome here in this prison. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cry. Um... Can we move like, some concrete tiles in here? We can, once uh, we get some more money. It's probably because a gang member moved out of there. We actually need to fix that, because I did not do it correctly. Apparently I missed. Blocked? 
Is it because he's owned by a a gang member? It is. That's fantastic. Okay. Uh, still waiting on that prisoner intake. Utilities, large pipe. I can't put anything in here. I have to dezone these as cells. Um, I'll wait until the prisoners come in. They just came in, which is great. I can't dezone that because a gang member owns it. Okay, cool. Good to know. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to wait until he's moved for some reason. Um, maybe he likes that his toilet doesn't work. I don't know. What am I looking for? Concrete tiles. There we go. Place those in there. Double check to make sure there's no other ones we can't do. There we go. This one as well. He's a gang member, so we can't touch his property. You know, it's our prison, just saying. Okay. Let's add in some more uh, pavements. Get all of this done like that. And uh, the pavement doesn't look that great until we add in some more resources around it. But at the moment, again, we've only got $47, so I don't want to spend all of our money on that. Our grant's about to complete, which is great. Um, we'll get a little bit more money from there. And I guess we need to start focus on getting more prisoners in here. Even though we don't really have much room and we can't really expand because we don't have that much money either. Um, we just need to... I guess maybe we can make some more paroles. I mean, Actually, yeah, a lot of prisoners are up for parole. So if we can add in some more parole hearings, uh, maybe that's the way to go. Uh, let's... Oh no! Oh, dang it. Accidentally started more. Okay. Let's <laughs> see if I can arrange all of these. Um, okay. Oh, I'm pretty sure I just ha heard a taser firing. Let's add them like so. Okay, and space that one out a little bit more. Oops. Can I not put it there? No. Can I drag it up? There we go. Can I drag you up? Yes. Okay. So that's spaced out nicely. Uh, what's happening? Oh, he had some deaths? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This gang is a gang fight. Um, okay, what can we do here? Bang up to make all the prisoners that want to go back, go back. Um, Alright, they've stopped writing. Let's turn bang up off. A couple of dead gang members. <laughs> Which, I don't know, maybe, maybe that's a good thing. So it seems what happened here was, um, oh, there's, oh, no, oh, okay, that's good, that's good. Unknown reputation, I need to find out about this guy. He seems like he could be a baddie. Uh, we actually have, wow, that's surprising. Um, I need to, oh, we don't have any money, okay. We ran out of money, that's not good. <laughs> Let's turn off this. Oh, God, this gang, what is this gang up to? Oh, goodness. They claim this area again. I mean, what's this? Oh, someone's dead. Oh, no. And someone else has been arrested. Oh, no. It looks like we've got a new gang in here, actually. Intelligent gang. Um, we definitely have a gang leader. That guy's definitely a new gang leader. Oh, problems in the library. What happened to... You know, since he's a gang leader, I'm tempted to put him in the Supermax area. But I... I'm not sure I want to. Um... Where's our main confidential informant? Like, it's eating time. As soon as it hits free time, I'm going to call on that confidential informant because I need to find out about this guy. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's never good. Never good when you have two rival gangs and uh, there, there's two gang leaders. Because uh, they, they get a little bit freaky. Freaky. Okay, our danger is going back down again. I need to get this man moved into Super Max Wing, but I need to find out his reputation first. Oh, is, is our Super Max guy actually getting fed today? I don't think he is. I don't think he is. There's food on the, the cooker. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Now he can eat. It just takes a super long time. Like, it's nearly eat... Yeah, eating time would normally be over for him. Oh, hang on, hang on. Where's our confidential informant? Um... What are you up to? Chilling. Let's activate you. Okay, because I need to find out about this uh, gang member. Okay, so guard should come and get him. Eventually, take him over to our um, security room. I don't know if I've actually shown you this yet. But yeah, he will be interrogated in here. And uh, we will find out all the good stuff. Like, uh, oh look, 
There's a, a range to pick up some of it, something over there. Um, another death. Lots of deaths. What's happening? Oh, good grief. <laughs> Is it our gang member or gang leader? Do we know anything about this guy yet? We do. He is a legendary uh, prisoner, so he is going into our confidential, in uh, not confidential, our um, supermax area. So first of all, let us set him to ba -ba -da -ba, supermax. And we do have just enough money, actually, to recreate this cell. So what we can do is uh, just clone it, really. Grab this, put it there, cloned, boom. Okay, <laughs> can't believe this. Ten freaking deaths. My goodness. Someone had a shotgun? Alright, shakedown. If someone had a gun, then we are going into shakedown mode. That is insane. Just need our worker to come and uh, get rid of this. We have another tunnel here. Okay, this is not going to be good. <laughs> our supermax guy is uh, going to chill out here now instead, which is fun. Another gang leader in the place. Where is he actually? Has he been put in a cell or something? Um, no, that is now classified as his cell though. Although he needs to be searched. Please don't let him find anything because if something is found on him, then he will, uh, uh, our gang will freak out. Though we do need a chapel for the guy as well because he will need spirituality. Someone got found with a shotgun. That's not good. Okay, it's always fun when this stuff happens and goes down. <laughs> this, is why, this is why gangs aren't usually recommended for, like, beginner players. Because they are pretty tough to deal with. Especially when you have two rival gangs and two gang leaders. I'm almost tempted to go into death row. <laughs> okay, he's been escorted back to his cell. Because uh, they actually have to get escorted through here, since this is a staff-only area. Okay, so this is now his cell. He's going to get searched. I didn't get found with anything, so it's fine. So these two, now Supermax, they're going to chill out in the same area and hopefully not kill each other. Oh, hang on. You, what are you up to? Uh, search prisoner. There's no way you just went over there by coincidence to pick something up. Just pick up nothing. Yeah, you're picking up a cell phone, what you like. Okay, let's go back to our informants tab and see... Yeah, everything's gone uh, because our informant isn't in action anymore, which kind of sucks, but oh well. We have a bunch of money. Oh, we got our um, thing back through. That's cool. Uh, so we can start uh, removing those tunnels. Uh, where there was another one over here. I think that was it. can't remember. Let's just drag over all of it. That way we know for sure that we got them all. Cool. Alright, so we have all of our dormitories turned back into cells. You know, this cell block isn't that big since we've got the laundry, the mail room, and the cleaning cupboard in here, but it's fine. Uh, can we actually assign more people in there? Let's assign a, assign a couple more. Oh, although we do have quite a big chunk of money now, which is great. It's probably because, there we go, of uh, the grants being complete. The only other grant we have to activate is cell block D. You know, we might as well activate it. Get a bit more money. A bit more money. Um, here's what I'm thinking. Thinking of exta expanding the prison this way. It's going to cost us 45000 Um, I'll probably keep the canteen in the same place, but I'd have to move all of this lot to go along here so I can fit another cell block in there. Um, but then I'd need another canteen as well, uh, unless I build a canteen over here and have that as, like, um... Like, a canteen here for these guys, and a canteen here for these guys. And that's probably the best way to do things. Oh man, all of our solitary cells are full up, aren't they? Pretty much. <laughs> um, how many? We have ten awaiting solitary. Dang. Oh man, we need some more guards as well. You know what, I'm just going to get five more guards. And a bunch of armed guards as well. That's going to... Oh, it took like almost all of our money. Dang it. Oh well, doesn't matter. Let's take a look at our regime and see how many people know our programs. See how many people have passed the guard laser. Eight of them. Okay, that's fine. Um, parole hearing. Pass rate for that is 55%. Spiritual guidance. Wow, lots of people found spiritualness. Let's. We need to start this general education one because uh, 
is part of our grind. We get a lot of money for completing that one. I kind of tempted to get another office as well for a psychologist so we can start alcohol therapy. Um, the other thing I need to do is focus on making the prison pretty again. So you know what? Let's spend a bunch of money on that. Let us... Wait, what's that? Oh, it's a food tray. I have no idea why there's a food tray there. Let us start uh, adding in some grass around some areas here. So uh, let's surround our yard with some grass. Because it, it really makes the um, the paving stones look cool, I like. Uh, it's, it's, it's like they, um, they sort of have a, a proper border and they don't sort of blend with the dirt. I really like it. It looks good. So let's try and surround our entire yard area with grass. And uh, I will be putting something else in the yard, like some weight benches. I've already got weight benches. Just like some normal benches. And uh, some, like, phone booths in there as well. Just so that in free time, maybe some more prisoners can use it. Though I don't want the gangs to claim it. That would suck if they did. It's quite a large area, though, so. Okay. Cool. I guess what else we could do is start actually paving the rest of our prison. Since uh, we've got plenty of it to do. Okay, actually that's not a bad idea. Let's go around and pave everything. Pave all the things. That guy's toilet still isn't working because I can't add the utility in there because he's a gang member and he has claimed that area so I, therefore I cannot build on it. Which I think is stupid, but oh well. <laughs> okay, let's add some paving stones in here too and all the way down into the canteen. Very cool. Now all we got to do is add the paving stones in around the cell block. And then soon we will have a very nice pretty prison. Because this is what our prisoners deserve, apparently. A pretty prison. Now I've got to do this for me. What's that? There's another notebook page. Cool. Uh, what? Abuse and threats. I can't read that. I can't read their handwriting. <laughs> Just ignore it. It doesn't exist. Okay, materials, paving stones. There we go. Let's add some more in there like that. Awesome. And they're adding in the grass. You can see what I mean. It just makes everything look so much cooler. Uh, I actually don't want any pavement there. I might want pavement there. We'll see. <laughs> um, let's just start adding in more grass here. Uh, just sort of like fleshing out our prison, making it look very nice. And uh, somewhere where people want to stay, because Believe it or not, that's kind of important with the whole environmental factor. Um, prisoners, if they have, uh, like, they have an environment need, like, if the environment is bad, they get a bit agitated. So we obviously don't want to agitate them, because that will make them mad and angry. Let's not do that. <laughs> okay. There we go. Cool. Everything's coming together. Our prison is starting to look a lot better. We're getting the outside done first, and then we can do all the inside areas, like uh, the kitchens and the canteens and whatnot. Uh, the cells are pretty much done anyway, so there's no need to do them. Um, let's move that down. Those are long like that. And uh, did I add? I'm pretty sure I added some in there. So let's just go around this cell block now and do these ones before we run out of money. I'm out of time, actually, because it's nearly the end of this episode. Um, which is right, I guess. We had a, had a bit of a rival gang moment going on. That hopefully won't hurt our prison... Uh, our, like, um, what's it called? Oh, oh, hang on. Why are they building stones there? And not paving stones? This is bad. This is very bad. I may have made a big mistake. Um, stop, please. This is, this could be very bad indeed. Um, let's stop them from doing this. We have a bit of a problem going on as well, which isn't good. Oh, that's okay. I got rid of the stones. That's good. Um, I thought I was deleting all the path, which I maybe did by mistake, but it turns out I was only removing this, the stones which I placed down. Okay, we may need a couple more workmen. We're actually losing quite a bit of money per hour now. We need to turn on our intake. Actually, yeah, we do need to turn on our intake because we lost a lot of prisoners <laughs> during that riot. But look, doesn't everything look so much cooler now? We got the grass in. I think this is looking very nice. Very nice indeed. 
Any areas I've missed? There's like a little bit there. Um, you know what? We haven't. Oh yeah, we had. We did a shakedown. That's fine. I was like, we haven't done a shakedown in a while, but we did. Let's quickly double check and see how many people have passed the carpentry apprentice. No one, because there are five sessions and they still haven't finished. That's fine. Uh, foundation education, people have passed. No one's still interested in the general education, but whatever. Uh, not a lot of people are being treated for drugs. Um, none of the guards are able to do that either. All right. Well, I guess that's going to do it for today, guys. I mean, <laughs> we had a bit of an, a situation here with the the whole Supermax prisoner. We got another legendary one. Hang on, did it say kills cops? Cop killer. He is a cop killer. At least this guy isn't a cop killer. You know, in free time, they like to chill out in their cells, which is good. As long as they're not fighting each other, I suppose. And it's kind of cool as well how the guards will uh, do the laundry in this area. Because uh, they, the other guys can't get in here. I like that. That's a good addition. Paving stone. There, please. Thank you. Let's add a tiny bit more grass before we finish things up. Um, actually, what do we need? Did I add gravel under that? I think I did. Let's add that. Gravel? Yeah, I did add gravel. Cool. Let's just add a tiny bit more grass, like I said, before we finish today. And uh, that will be completed next episode. Uh, just like so. We need a bit of paving stones here as well. Okay, and then some grass over here. Cool. So yeah, we did we did quite a bit of work today, especially getting uh, like some materials down and making our prison actually look good. Unfortunately, we spent most of the money we need for prisoner expan expansion, but eh, whatever. So that is going to do it for today, guys. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Prison Architect. As usual, I will see you all in the next one. Thanks once again, and goodbye.